Good afternoon, colleagues. TVED is considered a critical factor in a country's achievement of its sustainable development goals, and the Vision 2030 Jamaican recognizes the need to transform its education and training system in order to be globally competitive. However, often missing from the discussion about this transformation is the use of empirical data to inform decisions about teacher training, which is a critical component in the of the education and training system, because teacher training colleges provide te training for teachers who are expected to implement curricula at various levels of the education and training system. So we know that education plays an important role in the development of a country, and many countries are transforming their education system to meet their sustainable development goals and recognize that teacher training, teachers play a vital role in a country's education system. The public perception is that fixing teacher education will produce better teachers and better teachers will result in better schools. And studies have shown that quality teachers and teaching is the holy grail for addressing achievement gaps, particularly those that result from social and economic factors. Jamaica is one of the countries that have been working with to improve their education system. And in 2009, the country embarked on a project to achieve developed country status by the year 2030. The details are documented in the Vision 2030 Development Plan. Now, goal one of that plan is that Jamaica, Jamaicans are empowered to achieve their fullest potential through world-class education and training. However, among the identified challenges to the achievement of the goals are poor performance of learners in the education system and the need for better trained education personnel. To improve the academic performance of learners as well as their attitude and behavior, the National Standards Curriculum was designed and implemented based on the recommendations of the 2004 Task Force on Education Reform in Jamaica. The National Standards Curriculum places direct emphasis on project-based and problem-solving learning. It also allows students more hands-on experience that are similar to real-world scenarios, making learning experiences less abstract and more concrete. The value of TVED as a critical factor in the achievement of its sustainable development goals is evident in the design of the National Standards Curriculum. TVED is integrated at the primary level through the teaching of resource and technology, and TVET is integrated at the secondary level through the combination of resource and technology in grades seven to nine, and specialization in specific TVET subjects at grade 10 and onwards. The aim is to have all students, irrespective of the level or type of school that they attend, to have an opportunity to pursue TVET subjects as part of the curricular offerings across all levels of the education system. Now, Hutton and Dixon in 2016 stated that TVET is cementing its place in general education at the tertiary level as well as the education system responds to our employers who emphasize the need for graduates to be creative thinkers who should be able to communicate reason and create, write, and speak to provide leadership. And they believe that it is the liberal arts and science education that nurture those skills. The integration at this level, at the tertiary level, is evident in the National Qualification Framework of Jamaica that was done in 2015, which provides a standardized certification scheme at the postgraduate, the post-secondary, and the tertiary levels of the system. The framework presents competencies that must be targeted by programs at different levels of the system, but it makes no distinction between the TIVET and general education programs at the same level. So the school curricula at the different levels are and are and have embraced TVET, not instead of, not in addition to, but as an important part of a single education system through its integration into the official curriculum. But what of the teacher education system? How responsive has it been to this paradigm shift? 
This is an important question as preparing students to achieve the goals and objectives of the official curriculum is a central function of the classroom teacher and important to that function is first the preparation and certification to adequately carry out this role. The teacher education system includes programs that focus on liberal arts education and others that focus on Tibet education. However, the question must be asked, when the curriculum that the teachers are to deliver focuses on the integration of Tibet and liberal arts, why is it that there's a need for separation of the teacher education programs? What is the difference between the task performed by the liberal arts education teachers and those performed by the Tibet teacher? So wanting to determine the answer to the latter questions, a task analysis was conducted to determine whether there is a difference in the task carried out by the two groups of teachers. It is envisioned that the results of this analysis will contribute to the discussions about teacher training, specifically the discussion about whether TV teacher training should be positioned as part of rather than alternative to a sound teacher education system. So, to conduct the analysis, the ONET website was consulted for a list of tasks performed by the Tibet teacher and the list performed by a non-Tibet teacher in the course of their regular job performance. Since the teacher training institutions focus um, tend to prepare teachers for the secondary for implementing the curriculum at the secondary level, the analysis was defined was confined to that genre of teachers. So for the categories of teachers, ONET provided a list of over 60 job-related tasks, and it broke it down into detailed work activities, which was correct up to 2022. The lists were compared, tasks common to both groups were removed from the list. The unique list items were combined into a checklist with a request for demographic data, and those were um, distributed to so teachers in the system. Um, the, I think it was probably an, an ambitious task because I chose to, well, I had the time at the time to collect the data during the time when teachers were busy negotiating about their financial health. So um, the sample is not enough on which to base a decision, but certainly it allows me to contribute to a conversation. All right, so Tivet, the owner described the different categories of teacher in this way. So those who teach occupational, vocational, or career, and it listed a list of subjects um, based on the job titles, and those that teach at the secondary level, and it also listed um, were except um, Tibet subjects, teachers. And so I use that to guide the rest of the, the analysis, all right? so came up with this list. Um, well, this was from the responses. Um, the, initial, the initial thought was to focus on the high school level, but with the challenges, I used what was a convenient sampling method at the time and included some at the college level, but at the first or second year. So this was a list of non-Tibet um, subjects. There were 17 responses, and this is the result. The table shows um, the job task by category of teachers. Now, when you look at the task, it shows that there's no real difference in the first 10 tasks performed by the categories of teachers. So you have the non-Tibet listed in the first two columns after the task and the Tibet teachers' responses. Right? So that's for the first 10. Now, if you look at this now, um, again, when we got the, the ones that are highlighted, I highlighted because I found them interesting. There were results that I didn't at first understand. I looked at the non tibet teachers saying that they instruct in the knowledge and skills required in a specific occupation or occupational field. And so, but I was luckily, I was able to speak to one of the teachers who explained it this way. She said, look, Every single subject prepares students for a job. I'm a history teacher. History is needed for the people who are going to study law. The teachers who teach English, English is needed for everybody who is going to study any occupation at all. And that was interesting because I wasn't quite prepared for that response. When I saw it, I thought I would have everybody in the non tibet teach um, section saying that they do not teach skills required for the occupational um, 
level. So that was an eye-opener. Um, and then she also reminded me that the students in the secondary schools, they choose their subjects at the end of grade nine based on the profession they want to pursue. So in that saying, that all the courses that they do are leading for people, preparing people for an occupation. Um, the, she said also that sociology, which is one of the subjects, um, one of the people who, who, who responded was a sociology teacher, and she said that, again, sociology prepares people for work. All right, so regarding the maintaining of in, um, inventories and materials, again, that was surprising because in my mind, that was important for the Tibet people because they have equipment and so on. So the teacher reminded me that I teach history. We have globes, we have maps, we have stationery, we have, um, all the things that we use, they are materials that we need for a job as well. All right, and then the one that is at the bottom that we're not seeing too clearly, it is teach vocational courses. And if you notice, some of the non tibet teachers, there are three of the 10 of them, say, yes, they do teach, non, um, they do teach Tibet courses. And when I looked back at the, the teachers weren't available for me to interview at that point. So when I looked back at the questionnaires, the checklist, they, the, I remember two of them, um, Introduction to Strategic Management and Environmental Observation. I don't know what that is. But the fact is that they said they were, they, I thought it was a non tibet subject, but they're saying, yes, it is. So um, what are we left with here? What is it? The, the overall results really show that there's really no difference in the educational subjects, the educational tasks, all right, that are critical to the everyday function. The difference is really explained by the non-education related task. So we're left with two issues now. The education system integrates TVED and liberal arts to produce one education system to facilitate its sustainable development goals. There's no difference in the tasks that are performed by the teachers of the Tivet course and the teachers of the liberal art courses. So the question becomes, why is there a need for separation of the teacher education programs? So while the result, um, how do we define the, the, the Tivet teacher? Because when we look back here, when I thought and others th would think that the non what we call non-Tibet um, teachers, non-Tibet subject, the teachers who are teaching it say, yes, it does prepare people for work. So we, I'm thinking now what we need to do is how to define the Tibet teacher. How do we identify them? Will the real teacher, Tibet teacher, stand up? Because we don't know. Because everybody seems to do the same, carry out the same task in the course of their duties. So while this result of this particular task analysis cannot be used for informing teacher education curricula, it is hoped that it has provided some level of food for thought and highlights the importance of empirical data in, to inform our, deci our decisions and to investigate the possibility of a teacher training program that positions TVET as part of, rather than an alternative to such own teacher education system. So colleagues, I thank you for allowing me to be a part of the conversation as we continue to work towards the achievement of a sound education system, which I believe must begin with a sound teacher education system. Thank you.